Stand at roll distance. Did they roll? Great. Smack him in the face. Did you know they were gonna roll? No. You just reacted. Did they get up attack? Great. Smack him in the face. Did you know they were gonna get up attack? No. You just reacted. Question. Why would anyone pick these options if they see you standing at roll distance? That's a reasonable question. Good players like to shift their ledge trapping positions to change the risk reward of their opponent's options. At the exact moment that a player does this, roll and get up attack become viable. People who pick these options are either extremely smart or extremely stupid. But what if they neutral get up? You can react fast enough for the opponent to still be in a tremendous amount of lag from the neutral get up. Here, you might be around plus 9 or plus 10, which is insane. You may as well be plus a billion. Because of this, the opponent can only do fast, non-threatening defensive options. You could do a well-timed, well-spaced aerial. This covers almost everything. It beats spot dodge. It beats shield because you can go for pressure afterwards. It beats jump for the same reason, if the move doesn't just straight up connect. But what if they roll? Smack him in the face. Did you know they were gonna roll? Yes! You knew your opponent was gonna roll there as soon as he showed up to the venue. But what if they jump? You can't react to jump. Yes, that's why it's good. Ask yourself this. Did they do nothing, or did they do something? If they did something, smack him in the face. If they did nothing, you can still probably smack him in the face. Unless they jumped, did nothing, and then did something. What do you do then? Compliment your opponent. He's a good player. Then try to shark him. Did you catch all that? No, no you didn't. Watch the video again. 